This is 3D Scanner. What can it do? It can scan physical objects and transfer it into a 3D file, STL or cloud of points. It is very useful if you have a 3D printer because you can print things that you scanned like this with an awl. To build it you just need one kit from Gearbest, link in the description. What can you find in this kit? A lot of plastic parts, rods, bearings, screws, nuts, stepper motor, Arduino shield for it, power supply, two lasers, webcam, rubber overlay for a table and special paper with black and white squares for calibration. Start by putting bearing in big round plastic part, then put small parts into holes of bigger part and tighten them with nuts. Take 3 biggest threaded rods, 6 nuts, 6 washers and tighten the nuts as shown. Put rods in stepper motor base. Make sure that the shortest screw is in the center. Tighten it with nuts. Now take the biggest plastic part with logo and screw it to rods. Then you can start assembling arms for lasers. Tighten 4 short screws, as shown on the video, don't forget about washers. At the end of screws, you must mount small element. This is laser housing. Make sure that hole for screw to hold the laser is on the outside. You can place lasers in holes, fix them by screwing down small screw on the side. Connect lasers to Arduino shield, make sure that they are correctly connected, red is plus and black is minus. Then connect stepper motor to shield. And the last connection, USB cable and power supply. Now we must take off holder from webcam to mount it in scanner.
mount camera in place, make sure that all cables are connected. Now you can close all electronics with second half of big plastic part and screw it down with four screws. Screw small gear to stepper motor and stepper motor to frame. Place table on stepper motor and connect cable to stepper motor. Table is coated with paper, if you want you can tear it off. These are the parts that wasn't used. Assembling is finished, so now we can scan something. I decided to scan this wooden awl because it is very detailed and pretty simple to 3D print because it doesn't need support. Firstly, you need to download and open Horus. This is program for controlling our scanner. After going through quick calibration process, you can start scanning by clicking play button. For calibration, you need to use this thing. I don't know how to name it. It is with black and white squares, like a chessboard. This is how scanning looks like. In the menu of Horus you can adjust a lot of parameters, so if you have any problems just try to change them. To reduce noise in scan, I add this black cardboard. As you can see, laser line is much less visible. After scanning, you should see something like this. This is cloud of points, we had to make a mesh from it. Save by clicking file, save model, give it a name and click save. Now open cloud of points of your model in MeshLab. Click compute normals for point sets, change neighbor number to 1000 or other value. Try to experiment with that. Then click surface reconstruction position and again if you want to have a good result, you need to experiment with those values. After that, we can save our model as STL but it is not ready for 3D printing yet.
Now in Mesh Mixer we have to cut bottom of our object to make it 3D printable. Import your model, click Edit and Plane Cut. Move plane with arrows to the bottom of your model and click Accept. And save as STL. Finally, you can slice model with Kura or other slicer and print it. In my opinion, the result is really good. Of course it is not perfect, but remember that this scanner costs slightly more than $100, so for that price quality is good enough. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.